फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर डेट इज अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड सिंप्लीफिकेशन इट इज अ वन ऑफ द टेक्निक ऑफ साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट डेट इज अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड सिंप्लीफिकेशन सो वॉट इज अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सेटिंग स्टैंडर्ड फॉर एवरी इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटी टू मैक्सिमाइज द आउटपुट तो स्टैंडर्ड में भी रिलेटिव रिलेटिव स्टैंडर्ड में भी रिलेटेड विद द प्रोसेस स्टैंडर्ड में भी रिलेटेड विद द मेथड्स स्टैंडर्ड में भी रिलेटेड विद द मशीनरी स्टैंडर्ड में भी रिलेटेड विद रॉ मटेरियल सो फॉर एवरी काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी फ्रॉम प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल टू इट इज कमिंग आउट एज अ फाइनल गुड ड्यूरिंग दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज आर देर फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी यू मस्ट हैव टू सेट द स्टैंडर्ड दैट मीन्स दिस इज दिस इज अ मीनिंग ऑफ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन एंड वॉट विल बी द रिजल्ट विल कम आउट इफ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज देर द एक्सलेंट क्वालिटी विल कम आउट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द वर्कर विल बी वेरी नाइस एंड देर विल बी अ फिक्स लाइन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट द फिक्स टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स विल कम आउट फिक्स टाइप फिक्स साइज एंड फिक्सड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स so like that way standardization standardization will will give the result like this and it will also lead the systematically uh, systematic production in the organization and like that way what will be the result there will be a and uh, we can you, uh, we can take the optimum utilization of human resource as well as non human resource in the organization नेक्स्ट इज सिंप्लीफिकेशन सिंप्ली सिंप्लीफिकेशन मीन्स वॉट एलिमिनेशन ऑफ अननेसेसरी डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट साइजिस एंड वेराइटीज सो वी कैन सी इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ देर आर अननेसेसरी वेराइटीज आर देर वी मस्ट हैव टू एलिमिनेट वी कैन सी इन द केस ऑफ एप्पल कंपनी एप्पल कंपनी इज वॉट दे आर डूइंग द अननेसेसरी मॉडल्स विच आर नॉट पॉपुलर दे आर स्टॉपिंग द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दैट मॉडल at the same time samsung company is also doing the same thing unnecessary diversity the old models they are stopping the production of old models and they are going with new models so like that way this is called a simplification so in simplification the unnecessary diversity we have to remove the the things which are not popular which are not useful by doing that what will happen your time will be saved your material will be saved your money will be saved and like that way the ultimately efficiency will be increased productivity will be increased and ultimately there is a benefit for the organization all right let's go for the next that is work study now here the work study this study was conducted by f w taylor to eliminate unnecessary unnecessary movements unnecessary uh, actions or unnecessary things in the production so when he was working as a engineer at that time he has conducted this four kind of study to set a standard or to improve the efficiency of workers all right let's try to understand one by one first is a method study in this in this study what they are finding out in this method they are try to find out the best method for every kind of activity there is one best method and this best method we have to find out while doing the method study so before starting the production or before starting the job what we have to do we have to find out the one best job of doing that particular job so why because f w taylor was believing that there is always one best method to perform the particular job and that partic that best method we have to find out in this study in this observation and in this analysis and afterwards we have to apply them for the production so if this thing will happen what will be the result will come out result will come out that there will be less wastage there will be no wastage of no wastage of a, uh, no wastage of raw material the cost will be uh, cost will be reduced and it will maximize the quality of goods and by that way it will also increase the satisfaction of the consumers so like this way we have to find out the best way of production 
so it may be the best way in the self if you're for the every kind of activity we have to find out the best way it may be for the transportation of the goods it may it may be for the inspection it may be for the storage it may be for the raw material so for every kind of things he has to find out the best way how we have to do this job or do this task all right so like this way in this method they are trying to find out the best method next is a motion study motion study means what motion study means uh, we have to uh, study like uh, motion study means motions are there what kind of motions are there like lifting standing sitting or changing posture so all the time we are doing the movements so specifically when you are doing some job at that time what kind of movements you are doing that they are studying and in this movement there are three kinds of movements are there uh, first is a uh, like uh, we can say productive movements are there unproductive movements are there incidental movements are there so in this study they will remove the unproductive movements so here uh, he has proved also because when f w taylor was there at that time he they were studying the brick lying uh, brick lying uh, uh, they were observing the how the bricks are lying lying at that time they have due, due to this study they have removed the movements from 18 to 5 and like that way they have saved the time of performing the job and it will also reduce the it will also reduce the cost and ultimately there was a benefit for the organization so like that way what we have to do here we have to find out the unnecessary movements and that unnecessary movements we have to remove them and like that way ultimately the worker will be get benefit and the organization also will get the benefit next is a time study as a time study in this time study what is happening for they will they are determining what they are determining they are determining the standard time for the each kind of job and in this if any person is uh, uh, any person is not able to achieve this means time, he is not performing the uh, job on time at that time they also have to take the corrective action so here in time study what they are trying to find out they are trying to find out the standard time required to perform the job so when they are doing this study they find out what uh, how much time is required how much standard time is required to perform the job and while doing this they are taking the reference of reasonable uh, the, uh, means uh, the normal person they are take they are, what they are taking they are taking the reference of normal worker not very efficient worker or worker or not very less efficient worker they are taking re reference of a normal normally efficient worker that uh, how much time he is uh, taking to perform this job on on the basis of that they are setting the standard time to perform the job and at the same time they are also setting the uh, target of workers if time study we have we can set the targets so this study is helpful to set the target of workers also at the same time this study if the time we have a standard time we can also easily estimate the number of uh, workers required for the particular job or for uh, to complete the particular task and at the same time we can also categorize if standard time is there we can categorize who is an efficient worker who is a less efficient worker and uh, on the basis of that we can also give them incentives if they are performing the more than standard time all right next is a fatigue study in fatigue study what they are trying to understand here in this fatigue study they are trying to find out how much rest is required how much rest is required uh, to worker while during the job suppose there is a job of 8 hour shift is there so during the 8 hour shift how much rest we have to give them to get them recharge or get them recharge or re-energize 
because if they are doing job is suppose we will get the intervals between the uh, during the job we are giving suppose in the eight hours job we are giving them two times intervals three hours uh, after three hours 10 minutes and after again three hours 20 minutes so that they will be re-energized and due to that their efficiency will increase their productivity will increase so in that fatigue study they are trying to understand that how much interval is required and what will be the duration of intervals so how much intervals are required and what kind of duration is required for the intervals so like that way they will come to know that how we can give them uh, how we can give them time to re-energize them so they can work again efficiently and enthusiastically so like this way, the four studies are there. In all these four studies, they are trying to improve the worker's efficiency while doing the job. All right. Thank you.